you see the trees, you see the sky. See, the biblical instruction of God says that all this will fade away, and the lust thereof, and the pride of life, all of that's going to fade away. But his word will never fade away. His word will never fade away. That same word that created all this stuff that is going to be destroyed. This message is to those who are concerned and the believers that, or we can say the lip professors, are concerned and worried and afraid and, and dismayed at all the stuff that's going on and they're praying for peace and security. What Jesus says that when they ask for peace and security, sudden destruction will come upon them like labor pains on a pregnant woman. All this that is happening now is nothing compared that is going to happen. It's only going to get worse. It's prophesied to get worse. So for a true believer, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be a surprise. It shouldn't come as a surprise. We should already expect all this to happen because the biblical instruction of God and the prophecies that's been fulfilling itself time and time again has showed us this was going to happen. So instead of crying and worrying, because you already know it's going to happen, so you're just working yourself up even more. Trust in God. Make sure you're right with God. Ask Him to help you understand. Stay in prayer. Not just stay in the Word. Stay in prayer. Seek His face. Seek His voice. Ask Him to protect you from any counterfeit spirits. Have discernment. Chew up the meat. Spit out the bones. Don't throw the whole baby out with the bathwater. But ask God to help you take in. Ask God to help you take in what is of Him and to help you to avoid the things that are not of Him. Ask God to help you to grow more in the knowledge and understanding of his of his uh, biblical instructions. Ask him to fill you with obedience and the desire to be obedient. Ask him to take away the desires of the flesh. Ask him to help you not to walk after the things of the flesh, but after the spirit. Ask him to restore you. Ask him to keep you from the great transgression. Ask God to keep you from willful and premeditated sins. Ask him to help you to not seek to commit a sin. Ask Him to help you out of that adulterous relationship you're in. Ask Him to help you to be more patient. Ask Him to help you to follow after His will. Ask Him to help you to do His will. Stay in prayer. Ask Him to help you to better minister and, and help you to keep your role that is in the church. Ask Him, and He will help you. Ask him with sincerity and without doubting, and he will surely help you. Do not live in sin. In another point of this video, you should see the signs are fulfilling itself, the prophecies are fulfilling itself at the end times. We know not what, what day or, or hour the time will come, but we know it's soon. And you should prepare yourself, not just physically. Don't worry about all the, uh, taking all the foods out of the stores and all this other type of stuff and being selfish and greedy. But trust more in God. Not everyone is called to run away to the mountains. Some people God may call to stay where they're at because other people need them to minister to them. Let the Holy Ghost lead you. 
let the Spirit of God lead you unto all truth. We know not the time or hour, but we know that Jesus has given us signs that point to how soon it may be. Don't put your trust in a pre-rapture. There is a rapture, but Jesus says that endure unto the end. The rapture is not going to happen until Jesus comes back on the clouds. That's when it's going to happen. And when Jesus comes back on the clouds, we're going to be caught up to him together in the clouds. And we're going to rain destruction on the earth with him. We are going to join his army in the clouds. And we're going to swoop down with him and bring vengeance on the world. That's how that's going to happen. There's no pre-rapture. Jesus says that many believers will be beheaded for the faith, imprisoned for the faith, killed for the faith. possibly tortured for the faith. What you should be uh, preparing for is for God to help you not to compromise in the midst of that. To help you to not only keep the faith while living, but even in the face of death, keep the faith and not deny Him. Because once you deny Him and you give in to that, give in to the uh, Antichrist, the false Messiah, that will never be forgiven you. Those who take the mark cannot be forgiven. And you will know what the mark is when it comes. Because it's going to be forced upon you. They're preconditioning it right now. They're preconditioning it. The vaccine is not the mark. It's a preconditioning to the mark. Don't listen to all these false teachers. Go in peace, brothers and sisters.